The Mumford & Sons Gentlemen of the Road concert was a big success, earning the city nearly $54,000 in fees, but raising some questions about holding events like this on a regular basis. Last week, Mayor Brennan, City Councilor Kevin Donahue, and city staff held a community meeting to give residents of Munjoy Hill some information about the concert and to listen to their concerns. Brian Knobloch spoke with Councilor Donahue about the feedback they received. Councilor Donahue, you spent a lot of time listening here today. What did you hear? I heard a lot of different things, but I, I heard people who were pleasantly surprised with how well the operation of the event went, um, but with a lot of good critique about small items and large items that could go better should we entertain uh, this sort of event in the future. There was a fair amount of discussion about the use of public facilities for private purposes. Uh, what's your, what did you hear about that? Um, some analogies were drawn from public against public facilities. Is, is this the same as renting out the Merrill Auditorium? Clearly it's not. There's an opportunity cost to the neighborhood and to the public at large uh, when the park is not available for everybody's benefit. So it's important to document that there is a different public benefit that's easily understood. Uh, in this instance, we make arguments about economic benefit, about multiplier effects, about um, the nightlife benefiting for that night, hotels, bars, restaurants, all having a good day. Um, I think one of the things that we necessarily need to see as a positive impact is a positive impact for the neighborhood. The impacts, negative impacts on the neighborhood were really confined to loss of the park for a day or two. The positive impacts we'll see um, in the investment in uh, solar uh, trash compactors that will be around the neighborhood and paid for by the develop by the promoter. What specific concerns did you hear tonight? Specific concerns that um, communication at the outset when a opportunity presents itself be more forthright and um, be seeking impact uh, seeking input from the beginning. Um, this was a very fast process an opportunity which was moving quickly and city staff took initiative to um, seize the opportunity and rightly or wrongly um, it left a lot of, of us in the neighborhood and, and indeed on the city council playing a little bit of catch up but in the end it's we try to be um, boosters moreover than party poopers but um, concerned listeners uh, both before the event and after the event to understand what the neighborhood impacts uh, are and what they fear they could be should we do this again. Andrea Myhaver is president of the Mudjoy Hill Neighborhood Association. She talked about the feedback she's received about the concert. It's run the gamut. There have been a couple, very few people who are quite upset about the concert, but other than that, it's been, you know, it was a great event, it seemed to be really positive, um, but here's what didn't work. And there were, you know, some logistical things that didn't work. The food, the water running out, we heard that from a lot of people. The um, prom being basically cut off for four days as opposed to one. That was some concern from people. Um, you know, those kinds of things. There was also a fair amount of concern about a public facility being used for a private event. Uh, speak to that a little bit. Yeah, we did. We received actually um, probably, I would say the majority of our feedback was around that um, because, you know, people expressed that this is a public park. It's where we go to enjoy it every day. And is it really right? philosophically speaking, to charge money for an event for that. Uh, but I think most of the people that expressed that concern said, you know, if it was done on a um, smaller scale, not smaller scale, meaning smaller concert, but less often, you know, they could handle a once a year type of thing. But if it became a regular event, that would be of concern to them. So that's, that was, I think, most of the feedback that we got. Portland Mayor Michael Brennan talked about finding the right balance for the use of public facilities. Probably four or five times a week, we use public space for for-profit ventures in the city of Portland, uh, from Merrill Auditorium to the Ice Arena to the Expo to you name it, uh, Hadlock Field. <laughs> so um, I, I, I don't know if this uh, particular uh, event uh, is uniquely different from things that we do all the time in terms of uh, using public facilities for for-profit events. The Eastern Prom is a precious <laughs> asset to the city of Portland. And we should do everything we can um, to protect and to enhance that asset. Um, in this particular case, I thought it was a good use of the asset, and I thought that the benefit to the city, um, you know, so several people mentioned this, but uh, we ended up on a world stage, and we did well. <laughs> Councilor Donahue, going forward, what happens to all the information and data that you heard here tonight? Well, Mayor Brennan and I, um, at prodding from some of the uh, members of the public are seeking an executive summary from staff about lessons learned um, from the execution of this event and, and 
dealing with uh, how to resolve, address some of the issues that were brought up by members of the public tonight and by email prior to tonight so that it serves as a policy document, not a policy document, a management document to help uh, future administrations because we don't know how long it will be. Uh, deal very well with this sort of sort of opportunity in the future and so that the public has a reference point uh, for the lessons learned just so that we're dealing with more than folk wisdom.